What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, we're going to do two things real quick. I'm going to go through the repeg process with you. I uh, apologize for the delay in the video today. I'm actually doing this right now in the evening. Um, had some stuff come up and I'm working through it as we speak. So let's talk about the important parts right now. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Uh, we're going to break down what's going on with the price action. We're going to break down why it's happening. I told you you know, almost to the dot, you're going to see it, uh, what, what was going to happen, where we're going to go. Uh, the, the market started to capitulate a little bit, so got a little bit lower, but we're on the right track, at least for that. And we're going to talk about repeg and let's get into it. But before we get started, here's what matters. Terra Casino. These are the guys like guys, this is where you burn this is the number seven overall burn mechanism in all of Luna Classic. If you want to be part of the burn process and you don't want it to just be something where it's everybody else's problem, you want to help and you want to be a contributor, come over here. Also, do you like money? Do you want to win money? Because right now you can see it right there. It's, it's scrolling through uh, with they've partnered with Evolution to bet and win 1.2 between September 2nd, September 29th, 1.2 million dollars euros. Uh, that is a huge number. Also, uh, there might be some new cryptos that are going to be available here pretty soon that we're not talking about. Also, because it doesn't end, World Poker League from September 20 to December 22nd giving away 2 million euros and Pragmatic Play is helping from October 26th, I'm sorry, from August 26th to September 30th, a $400,000 Mustang Gold Mega Way. All you have to do is come to terracasino.io, click on one of these, and get started today. Do you like football? Because the NFL, my bear is lost, but uh, you can go over here and wager on those and PvP poker, all of this that you can do. So check it out and let's get started. Okay, so Terra Classic price plunge ahead of Terraform Labs bankruptcy hearing. What next for Lunk? Um, you know, sometimes I think these things are valuable, sometimes I don't. This one I did not find to have any sort of real value to it. So uh, I told you guys that I thought that we were going to go up to a specific number, which we'll get into in just a few minutes, and we'll see how close we got because the chart still exists. I haven't changed anything, and we'll see how we did in our guessing. On to the other one, Terra Classic reveals USTC repeg plan will lunk price rally again. So... Let's talk about that because that's the important part, I think, to all of us is like, how do we do this? And Vegas revealed a proposal to repeg USTC to $1 with long. So let's look at what's going on over here. Now, uh, the USTC repeg compiled articles and community insight. Again, I encourage you, commonwealth.im, go over here, get into the Luna Classic community and start to read. Here's the key insight. This is exactly what you need to know from Vegas Morph. And there's the Medium article right here. Uh, and this is a comprehensive plan. I'm a monkey, by the way. I have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm doing this. I just know by feels. So if you will, forgive me if I'm not giving you some crazy answer and you're like, hey, how's this guy not a genius? Because I'm not a genius, guys. I'm just a, you know, look, I can read a chart. I can read a crypto chart. Um, I, I normally can read human emotions and people, uh, but yeah, we're winging it. Nobody's repegged this thing uh, two years later to this point. So every idea is an idea at this point. I'm going to get show you mine in just one second. Then there's another one over here that came out on August 16, and it was reactivation and enhancement of the marketing module uh, for stabilizing USTC on Terra Classic, part of that. Uh, also, April, we had Hive Guard Mechanism. Hive Guard is a decentralized community-driven mechanism designed to implement uh, to complement USTC repegging efforts. And then number four is the create collateral for, or backing for pool. Now, that all of these, and you can go look at these on each one of these, and it gives you a link. Vegas Morks got his Medium article here. There's a Medium article here. There's Commonwealth links, Commonwealth links, and they're asking for if you have any other places. Now, I then put out this, and I don't know what you guys think because I didn't do it right because I started numbering stuff and then I realized I hate numbers. I'm good at numbers. I just hate them. All right, as it occurs to me that the longstanding problem is funding for a stable coin, no matter whether we call it USTC or AFT or whatever the name is, uh, we use the function uh, is for to have a set value. So what about this? And everybody, please destroy this idea if it's not workable, but this is my idea, okay? Repeg USTC to one penny uh, to lunk, right? 
when USTC is converted to LUNC or when LUNC is converted to USTC, then 10% of the value of the trade is set to do the following. By the way, this is not you paying a tax or a penalty. This is after the transaction and after the USTC or the Luna Classic is going into a pool. If USTC is sold, 10% of that is split into two categories to buy and burn LUNC and the other 5% of the price is used to buy an asset. And I didn't even spell buy right now that I see that. Buy an asset for stabilizing. So if we were to decide on USDT as an example, then a small $1,000 transaction resulting in $50 in LUNC burning. So, and what, what I mean here is if USTC, if we had a $1,000 transaction where somebody bought from USTC to Luna Classic or from Luna Classic to USTC, uh, there would be a $1,000 transaction would result in $50 in LUNC burning. I'm, I'm sorry, this is the USTC transaction. Transaction. It would result in $50 in LUNC burning and then $50 in USDT being bought to help defend that one, one cent peg. Then I said I realized numbering is a silly idea to my explanation, but let's leave it there for now and continue just to let you guys know I understand I screwed this all up. But number three, this applies to LUNC, this applies to, LUNC to USTC or USTC to LUNC still. When converting LUNC to USTC, then the same 5% is used to buy and burn USTC, $50 worth of USTC, and 5% is also used, uh, used to, again, by USDT to defend the peg. So it, when each one of these transactions are done, then there's a, a little portion of it that's going to be buying USDC, USDT, which is going to help to, to have cash on hand to defend an amount. So we can keep it at one penny at that point until we get to a point when there's enough USDT to defend a peg at one cent, then USTC will double in value to 0.02 upon a Dow vote to provide to approve, provided the price allows for it. If we can do that, then we move it up to two cents. And that basically doubles the value of your USTC. And it's a slower process. So look, it is gonna, uh, you're gonna be a long-term holder. Long-term holders probably get rewarded greatly in the event that this is a workable sort of thing. Now, the other thing is we actively implement this and it doesn't affect whitelisted wallets, of course, so this would only be volume on chain. So we're not talking about Binance. So when you look at 20, 30 million dollars in Binance trading over a day, that doesn't affect anything, doesn't help anything, but uh, on chain volume would help tremendously. And then any participating place, like for example, if Terraport, a sponsor of this channel, decided to do that and so decided to implement it as well, then that could be a consideration for them also. So improve the off-ramping natively to establish a wormhole or easy conversion portal to swap USTC or USDT uh, here to another chain so people can easily profit. Today, it's a bit prohibitive to normies. Now, the whole thing is, uh, I, you know, I'm a normie, so let's make it simple for a normie like me to get my money off of this chain in the event that I wanted to. So, um, and you might say to yourself, well, it's pretty easy, bro. Well, it, it you know, you have to transfer it to uh, an exchange that accepts Luna Classic that you can then convert into cash and then order in order to cash out. And that's not available in all countries. So simplifying a process here into something a little bit easier and then allowing a wormhole transfer or uh, a bridge, if you will, for a transfer would be you know, help that. Now, this was not part of the, the repeg, but there are ideas here. And, you know, guys, go ahead and destroy my ideas, if you will, uh, for how this gets done. I just threw it out there for you guys to look at. Now, let's move on here. Uh, Coin Hall still showing down price, by the way, for the day. This is not a great day overall. And the reason for that is the broader market just kind of tanked, if you will. Uh, as far as voting goes, uh, it looks like the correct uh, the, the correction of maximum validators to 110. So maximum validators to 110. 10 looks like it's going to happen. Uh, we've got the burn protocols over here for uh, this USTC that, that Happy Caddy put up. And we've got to establish a lunk maintenance and review team. Not sure why. Not sure why there's not a lot more interest in that. Uh, you can see right now, it looks like it could with a little enthusiasm behind it pass. But, you know, three days left in the voting and, you know, nobody's even really touching it too much. So, uh, but on the maximum validation to 110. That's happening. So there's going to be 10 new validators uh, coming in very soon. Should I have a validator? I don't think that I should. I don't really want to be part. Like, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, let's move on. All right, guys. So here's the chart. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, this is what I told you guys was going to happen. And what I did say is I think that we're going to get a spike up here at 95 and then we're gonna settle right here at nine. Now what happened instead is we got a spike to nine, and then we came back down for a retest, 
and it basically this is profit taking if you were to look at it right now and you were to take from this impulse move uh, to this impulse move right here you're about 28 percent so it was a nice gain over the course of, of that period of time uh, if you take from this and you say that this is the kind of move right here then you'll notice what happened just now is we're in i know it's kind of difficult to see bear with me though but we are in the golden zone which means that we went to nine thousand which I told you was going to be prohibitive resistance, uh, which I think that's where we're going to settle ultimately. And then it came back down for an, a test at eight cents or at four zeros eight. Uh, and now from there, there should be a reversal. So I think that we're going to experience a little bit of, of you know, positive sort of movement. Now with that, uh, that doesn't mean that we're done here with this move. I do think that we're about to see uh, a little bit more move to this upside. The news is starting to get good or at least interesting with Luna Classic. So uh, I do think that we're you know about to experience another move and continuation of what we're seeing. Now, the one thing that you should be alerted to is, let's zoom out here. Remember, long-term resistance. This is all about long-term resistance. Now, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to show it to you uh, a little bit differently here. I'm going to close that. So we've got this long-term resistance which goes down right here now i'm gonna put that back on and you can see what happened here what happened here we've got a back test this is a breakout move if it is happening so uh we had this you know we're coming down we're coming down we're coming down then we broke out above and then we came back and what did we do we back tested on top of it this is perfect this is exactly and look i don't when i say perfect i mean this is a perfect back test that doesn't mean that we're going to break out that doesn't mean that anything is going to happen it just means that we got a perfect back test and what it did is it came down uh, above the channel didn't fall back into the channel and then it started to spike from there going upwards right and in price action so that means that we were breaking out now if the continuation of that is to the positive and we continue to move up then you know fantastic we we've done a great job if you will and uh, a rising tide raises all boats or whatever it says you know i think i said that the other day but uh we're not done yet with this move i don't think uh and we should take note here that uh downward 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 upward we might have a little bit of reversal and by the way that does not mean that we do because we've seen uh, downward and then we've seen upward and upward and upward before coming down some more so i'm not saying that we're done we could actually still come down from where we are so just bear that in mind but also i think it's important to recognize that we haven't had this test yet again and that's three zeros two and that's not that far away anymore so there could be some interesting developments that happen here and we could see just a, a, a ridiculously nice sort of spike in activity and price action you know we could be witnessing uh, uh that breakout happen slowly i mean obviously you know it takes time if you were to look at this from here and you were to look at this all the way over here then you would see like this structure not dissimilar to what we saw over here so if you look at it from this context and you just kind of uh so we had this little breakdown here which is this right here then you had this little move up right then you had this little move up then you had this little breakdown right here then you had this little breakdown right here now you've got this new and then you've got this move up and you've got this move up happening right here now the difference is that this market kind of dropped it a little bit uh again we're still at that breakout phase we haven't really gotten there yet but the market structure is looking like it's poised for a breakout now if this gets a continuation then boom we're going to have this big move right here as a as another continuation of the move right there and then we go up here and we wick against this that becomes the the spot where very difficult to break out now uh the u.s market i i do want to warn you guys it is my opinion that the u.s market is about to dump heavy because we are leading into the fed interest uh the fed rate uh and that fed rate despite that we think that that's going to be good for the market has generally been very 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 bad for the market so I would think that risk assets are about to get dumped. So we might be looking at a little downward momentum short term. The question is, do we survive that back test? And if we survive that back test, then I think that we have a successful breakout coming because the rate cut ultimately will be great for Bitcoin and risk on assets. So over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more 
and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit. 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal over here, uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option. And finally, and this is the big one, guys, I keep telling you this, it's the launch pool. Get into the launch pool, create a contract. I'm gonna make a new contract with six Ethereum right now. It's a bronze contract, profit sharing is 50-50. We're gonna do that right now. Done. All right, that's what we're doing. We've got a bunch of these set up. Remember this last one that I completed. Uh, I, look, I can't tell you how important it is for you to stake or crypto, you see the numbers right there. Start staking with cryptonomy.finance today. That's where I think everything is going. Now, as far as volume goes, 14 million being traded. Where is it being traded? Most of it being traded on Binance. So uh, just bear that in mind. Uh, my idea would be probably, you know, a lot less than what we're seeing here in terms of volume. But uh, USTC uh, also, uh, 7 million volume and down 3% on the day to 95 billion. So we're, we're kind of trending here at 1.6 cents and look, like to see this kind of move up into the three or four cent range. I just, you know, we're looking for that catalyst that's gonna make it all happen. So um, there you have it. Uh, as far as the rest of this goes, look, uh, uh, like I told you guys before, uh, going through, um, I had some stuff happen, uh, some very expensive stuff happened. So, um, you know, a little bit out of sorts and I'll get back to normal tomorrow. We'll have a, another video out uh, explaining a lot to you. Um, not a lot uh, about me personally, but uh, again, come over here. Last seven days, 877 million tokens have been burned so far uh, in Luna Classic. So, uh, you know, we're still getting nice burns. We're still uh, accelerating the curve a little bit, I want to say. Um, I, I, since that's happening, I think it is important for us to consider that, you know, we could really be something, seeing the start of something fantastic. And if you want to see something fantastic, by the way, Rocket is going to launch in, I think, two days, I was just told. So uh, there is quite a little bit going on right now, okay? Um, and look, I want to talk to you about a few of them. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a list here real quick as we close this out. We're going to be talking about Elbun Project over the next couple days. Um, the meme coin Madness was playing out. I think that was uh, Pump Phase did pretty well. It looked like it was up 1,100%. Uh, ridiculous. Like, uh, there's the swap for Arnie. Ridic, bro. So uh, there was uh, there was a lot going on over here. I uh, hope you guys, look at this, pumped up 1,900% Arnie to long over here. Like, that was a fantastic play. So guys, if you got in on this one, then you made out. I think, I mean, you think I think you made out, like, really, really well. So, um... We're gonna do another one, or are they gonna do another one in a couple days? Also, Rocket is in two days launching their game. Uh, you've already gotten your tokens. Now, I'm gonna be playing the game live, I, I hope. Um, I hope, anyway. Uh, Air Force Lunk, Air Force Lunk is out. Uh, you can play it on Big Bang X. Now, I've downloaded it to my phone, but um, some of the art assets on an, uh, and I'm using a Google Pixel Pro 8, not loading, so uh, you can come over here and you can play this on your computer, which probably preferable to me anyway, uh, because I'm a, a, a computer nerd to begin with. So uh, you pop your information in here and you can start playing Air Force Lunk today. The Boys, uh, The Boys has, look, we've already talked about The Boys endlessly, uh, so go check that one out. But we got Garuda, uh, we've got Frag, we've got Teratritium, we've got Food, I like Food, Food is good. I like Food, Food is good. Uh, just saw the Descendants play. Uh, then we've got uh, one that I can't tell you the name of because they're still working on a rebrand. Then we've got Galactic Shift. We've got uh, Lunk Metrics. We're going to be talking more about Lunk Metrics uh, and, and what they do. Cremation, Lenny Coin. Well, we've got a couple different things down here. Uh, some other names I don't want to say out loud uh, because I'm not really sure how ac active they are or whether these are projects that we're, are, are going to move forward. And uh, we've got Hamster Meme out there. We've got all kinds of different stuff. So guys, this system continues to build. So if you are interested, then you're going to be in for a big ride. But we got to get there. The market, I think, you know, the market might struggle in the next day or two. And we'll see. Hopefully not. But if it does, you know, um, I don't know what to tell you. 
uh, other than don't worry about it because it's going to be short term. Anything's going to be short term. We're getting into the bull run. We're getting into the bull phase. It's getting ready to happen. Okay. So uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is a lot to pack into a short period of time, uh, but YOLO, baby. Uh, so we'll talk to you again very, very soon.